So it's ridiculous. I never condoned it. Never condoned drill music. I don't condone, condone um, the killing or none of that type of stuff. The mother of a Jacksonville rapper who was killed in Tampa condemns the violence that led to her son's death. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. The artist, whose real name is Charles Jones, was gunned down in June outside a hotel across from the USF campus. This evening, arrests have been made. We are also seeing dramatic new video of what happened that night. News Channel 8's Georgia MacArthur joins us now live from the Tampa Police Department with the very latest. Georgia. Keith and Jen, Charles Jones' mother drove here today from Jacksonville with a plea to end the violence surrounding her son's death. She told me watching the video was hard, but Tampa police say the video proves the suspects drove here to Tampa with murder on their minds. I'm very relieved. Fans knew him as Julio Fulio, but to his mother, Sandricas Mays, he was simply her son, Charles Jones. On June 23rd, police believe Jones was trying to get a room at the Holiday Inn Hotel after he was kicked out of an Airbnb while celebrating his 26th birthday. Dramatic video captures the moment Jones was ambushed inside his car by three suspects. Keep walking. Keep walking. Now turn around. Put okay, your hands behind your back. On June 23rd, 2024, rapper Julio Fulio was gunned down in the passenger seat of a car as it drove through a Holiday Inn parking lot. The car was met with gunfire coming from a triangle, so Julio literally had no chance of survival. A shooting at a cluster of hotels near USF in June left one person dead and three others injured, according to the Tampa Police Department. Officials said the 26-year-old man died was Charles Jones, also known by the stage name Julio Fulio. Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkow, Hillsborough County State Attorney Susie Lopez, and Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters announced that three arrests had been made on Monday, July 29, 2024. Tonight at 6, these three people are all facing murder charges in the death of Jacksonville rapper Charles Jones, also known as Julio Fulio. Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters had these strong words to say when announcing their arrests. Today, three dangerous criminals are off our Florida streets and in police custody waiting the law. These individuals have chosen lives of urban terrorism, and with their arrests, we show Tampa, Jacksonville, and the rest of Florida, the rest of this state. We hold violent criminals accountable. 
Sheriff Waters made that statement in Tampa this afternoon. That's where Julio Julio was shot and killed outside his own 26th birthday party last month. Police are still searching for two others who are connected to the shooting. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris is joining us live in the studio with details about uh, that search for these other suspects. Janice? Yes, police still looking for those two men, but Tampa police said the five people in total plotted and planned to kill Charles Jones following every step he made while he was celebrating his birthday. Police say they are still looking for the two men involved in Jones's murder, 30-year-old Rashad Murphy and 27-year-old Davion Murphy. This is surveillance video from June 23rd when three gunmen ambushed and shot Charles Jones, a local rapper known as Julio Fulio. They are shooting at Charles now and you can see that he's the passenger in that car that's moving and trying to flee. And again, they're still shooting at him. He's the right front passenger in that vehicle. As the driver of Jones's car tried to get away, the gunman continued shooting. Jones died and three others were injured. Surveillance video was critical in this investigation as suspects were seen on video following Jones from location to location. This shows the links that these individuals were willing to go through and achieve that this murder would occur. According to police, five people drove from Jacksonville, planned and executed Jones's murder. 21-year-old Alicia Andrews, 21-year-old Isaiah Chance, 18-year-old Sean A. Gaithright. Three are all in Duval County Jail and will soon be transferred to Hillsborough County to face murder charges. Police and the U.S. Marshals are still searching for 30-year-old Rashad Murphy and 27-year-old Davion Murphy. Police believe Jones was shot by members of two rival groups that worked together to kill him. State Attorney Susan Susie Lopez will prosecute the case in Hillsborough County and has her own message for the members of those groups. The ongoing fight between these two groups spilled over into Tampa last month. Let me be clear, the feud stops here. All five of these defendants are facing life in the Florida State Prison, even the ones who didn't pull the trigger. Shortly after Jones was shot, one of the two rival groups released a video. Sheriff T.K. Waters and Burkaw were asked if others could be arrested in Jones's murder. So our investigation is still ongoing. Uh, Sheriff, if you have any other details that you want to speak on to that. So Young and Ace has long been known in Jacksonville. Um, we are consistently monitoring that group, those groups. Waters wouldn't speak regarding the Tampa investigation, but did say JSO does not have an investigation on Kiata Bullard, another local rapper known by the name Young and Ace. Waters did say the group does not move in Jacksonville without JSO knowing about it. And again, police and the U.S. Marshals are still looking for 30-year-old Rashad Murphy and 27-year-old Davion Murphy. Chief Burkaw with Tampa said he wants the men to turn themselves in so this investigation can end peacefully. If you would like to watch the entire news conference, it's linked in this story right now on our website at newsforjax.com. Joy. Janice, thanks. The Jacksonville rapper was known for feuding with other artists and for his involvement in a deadly gang beef. Jones's songs featured violent lyrics and some were about actual murders. It was found that the shooters are members of or affiliated with rival gangs of Jones that go by ATK and 1200. Jones was part of the six block gang. Detectives believe that ATK and the 1200 worked together to target Jones as part of an ongoing feud in Jacksonville. I want to send a clear message to anyone that the city of Tampa is not where you want to come to settle a dispute, explained Burkow. TPD said the feud between Six Block and his rival gangs ATK and 1200 has spanned over a decade with dozens of murders by and against both sides. Three arrests have been made in the deadly shooting on Monday. 21-year-old Isaiah Chance, 21-year-old Alicia Andrews, 18-year-old Sean Gathright, 27-year-old Davion Murphy, and 30-year-old Rashad Murphy are all accused of playing a role in Jones's death. Chance, Andrews and Gathright were all arrested over the weekend in Jacksonville, more than a month after the crime. 
According to investigators, Chance and Andrews tracked Jones and his entourage to two separate locations. TPD said at each location, they got out of their car and Chance used a cell phone. After using the phone, police said a second suspect vehicle arrived at each location and both vehicles followed Jones and his entourage to the home two suites location at 11606 McKinley Drive, where the murder happened. At 438, three shooters exited vehicle and walked in the direction of the hotel. They murdered Jones with a handgun and two rifles. This barrage of gunfire also struck three additional victims who miraculously survived this incident, said Burkow. Chance, Andrews, and Gaffright were all charged with one count of first-degree murder, premeditated with the discharge of a firearm, and one count of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder, according to officials. Three dangerous criminals are off our Florida streets and in police custody where they belong. These individuals have chosen lives of urban terrorism, Water said on Monday. Driver, open the car door. Let me see your hands. Step on out. Step on out. Look away. Back up to the sound of my voice. Yep. Stop right there. Lift your shirt up. Turn. Do a 360. What? Keep just listen to us. We'll talk about it. Keep going. Keep going. Turn. Turn. Now walk back to sound of my voice. Come on. Keep coming. 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 Walk back to me. Right here, right here. Walk right here. Let's go. Yeah. Walk this way, Mr. Yeah. Hey, get your hands up and walk out towards me. Hey, over here. Come this way. Over here. You're going to get hit with the less lethal. Get your hands up and walk towards me. Hands up and walk towards me. Hands up and walk towards me. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Stop, stop! Turn around, keep your hands up, turn around. Hands up, keep your hands up. Hands up, don't reach for your waist. Do not reach for your waist. Back up to the sound of my voice. Back up to me, don't look at me, back up to me. Back up, back up, back up, back up. All right, go to your knees. Put your hands behind your back. Stay there. Don't move. Isaiah? Isaiah? Rashad Murphy was the fourth suspect arrested in Jones's murder. It came Tuesday after a standoff with law enforcement. Rashad was tracked down at a Jacksonville apartment complex off of Collins Road by deputies in the U.S. Marshal Service. According to the Sheriff's Office, JSO, CPR, gang, and SWAT units surrounded the apartment and helped evacuate nearby residents. Rashad Murphy surrendered shortly after midnight, and deputies said it came after hours of negotiations. He's now in custody facing charges of first-degree murder, conspiracy to commit first-degree murder, 
and three counts of attempted first degree murder, investigators said. Well, Keith, we're live at the Preserve Collins apartments where there was a massive response from JSO's SWAT team here overnight. I want you to check out some of this video. The sheriff's office have not confirmed with us why they were here overnight, but there are videos taken from witnesses on social media. And it appears to show that police were looking for one of the two remaining suspects in Fulio's murder and eventually took a man into custody. Now this all comes less than 18 hours after police announced the arrest of three other people in connection to the Jacksonville rapper's death. This video shows the moment one of the shooters opened fire on the car Fulio was in. Then the shooters get in two cars and flee the area. Three others were also shot that day, but they survived. At yesterday's news conference, Sheriff TK Waters had a warning for all Floridians. Florida, Tampa, JSO, Jacksonville, Miami, wherever you are, will not tolerate foolishness, will not tolerate shootings and needless violence. Now, as of now, we know Alicia Andrews, Isaiah Chance, and Sean Gathright were arrested on Saturday and charged with first degree murder. No other arrests have been made or have been confirmed by police. But again, we had a SWAT situation here overnight on the west side that appears to have been in connection to this case. We'll keep you posted on air and online with the latest. I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side. Davion Murphy is the final suspect in the deadly Tampa shooting that is still on the run. He is also believed to be one of the shooters responsible for killing the Jacksonville rapper. Authorities are asking anyone with information on his whereabouts to reach out to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. As you all can see, it did look like a movie. It was planned out. Um, and I'm just happy that I finally get a little relief that these um, guys have been caught. Today, Tampa police announced the arrest of three suspects connected with Jones' murder. They believe they are members of rival Jacksonville gangs that came together to plan and carry out the murder in Tampa. Tampa is not where you want to come to settle a dispute. As for Jones' mother, she has a message too. My son has been rapping since eight years old. Um, Charles had more, have more music than drill music. Charles has different type of music, but the fans, that's what they glorify. That's what they like. That's what they make go viral. But May says she never glorified the violence. Please don't say that it comes from home because it doesn't come from home um, at all. I'm a nurse. I have helped many people in my city with careers. Um, Charles' sister got her master's in education. Police have Police have issued warrants and are currently searching for two other men, 30-year-old Rashad Murphy and 27-year-old Davion Murphy, who they say are responsible for shooting Jones. Both men are considered armed and dangerous. All right, y'all, there y'all have it, man. It's the follow-up, Julio Fulio murder. It's crazy, man. How long y'all think old boy gonna be able to stay on the run? Only time to tell. But I guarantee you when they catch him, that's going to be breaking those too. And you already know we're going to be on it. Drill again. All right, y'all. It's drillers and trappers. We still trapping and drilling 247. Don't go nowhere. Watch that next video. Gang.